Good evening, people of God. God bless you. We are so excited to welcome you to tonight's program of your life. You know, we are we had just a little bit of shift in our programming tonight, but God is good, people of God. And I want to welcome you wherever you are, whatever country that you are in, whatever state, whatever city. And I'm welcoming you tonight to Victory Praise Network. And we so thank God that you are with us on tonight. Tonight, and tonight's going to be powerful. Why? Because we are talking about the number one thing that we need in this world, and that's faith tonight. Praise God. And I so thank God for my good friend. I tell you, uh, man, he's he, he's another brother. He's my brother from another mother, man. I tell you, man, my awesome brother. Hallelujah. I thank God for him being with us tonight. Pastor Sidero Drayton, praise God. How you doing, preacher? Doing awesome, Apostle. God bless you, man. I appreciate the invite as mm. always. Hey, man, you, you know, we, man, you know, we've experienced so much in our life. We, 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 we've been through a lot and, and, and uh, we understand that God is still doing some amazing stuff, but we've had to endure some things by faith. And tonight we want to help people understand the true meaning of faith and how to work this faith, you know, mm -hmm. and, I know that there's some things that you've had to endure. What are some of the things that that we can share with the people tonight about this faith and how it operates and how we walk in it and live in it? Praise God. Yeah. Oh, man. I got to tell you, man, faith is my uh, one of my favorite subjects, man, because, you know, a lot of times uh, believers, we when you teach on the subject of faith, you know, believers sometimes make the mistake of trivializing faith. Hmm. My God, it's not that important, you know, in the economy of uh, kingdom manifestation. And, and so, you know, when I read uh, Hebrews chapter 11, verse six, you yes. know, it explicitly says, but without faith, come on, it's impossible to please God. <laughs> I'm like, hold on now. Of all the subject matters important to God without faith. It's impossible to please him. Yes. Say, we need to look at this thing. If, it, if it's impossible to please man, we want to please in the sons and daughters of God. So how important is faith? My God. Come <laughs> Not on, just faith, man. but faith in him. Mm. <laughs> it'll do some things tonight. I feel it in my son or not. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> yes. Because, you know, when 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 we walk by faith, we understand that faith unlocks doors that's been locked for so long. Yeah. Faith, faith is basically a key that can unlock any situation, unlock any circumstance. It th this is the master key. Mm -hmm. And if we can understand that when we walk by faith, when we look at faith as a lifestyle and not just something that we do, then right. we will obey the scripture when the scripture says that we walk by faith. That is a lifestyle that yeah. we have to walk by. <laughs> That's a kingdom lifestyle, man. Yes, sir. kingdom <laughs> lifestyle. Say the just wow. shall live by his faith. And Come you know, on. People think that, you know, when you're talking about uh, having faith and walking in faith, that, 
you don't know where your next meal is coming from and you got to live like a pauper. You understand? But, but faith is much deeper than that. Come on, man. You know, you get in a certain place with God, you don't have to be concerned about where your next meal coming from. Come on. Not as a kingdom citizen. <laughs> Come your on. Daddy owns everything and you wondering about how you're going to eat. Man, that, 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 that's Jesus. a good thing. <laughs> Jesus, come on, man. <laughs> and so Jesus, you have to get a proper understanding. <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> wow. That, that's the amazing part because you saying some good stuff. We shouldn't be worried about that. You know, we shouldn't be worried about food. We shouldn't be worried about things. We shouldn't be worried about it at all because if we understand who we are in Christ, and as you say, as kingdom citizens, that means I don't live by what this world offers me. I live by where I came from, and that's the kingdom. That's the kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Come sir. on, man. man. Wow. We're going to get into some stuff tonight. <laughs> My God. Come on. Come on. Wow. You know, it. it is amazing how, um, and, and, and if I can look at, the woman with the issue of blood and see she represents how this world system is made up today, how people yeah. are. They had, they, they had all of these people was around the one that can give them whatever that they need. They mm -hmm. were all around Jesus, all of them touching him, all of them. They, they right there, but only one person drew <laughs> the anointing or the virtue out of Jesus. And she did it with her faith. <laughs> Come on, man. Yes, sir. She did it with her faith. <laughs> man, that, that's amazing. My uh, wife, uh, Prophet J. Nell, she uh, preached on that the other Wednesday, man. It was so powerful. You know, that woman with the issue of blood and even God gave me some uh, insight on that because even last night, you know, we had Bible study and I was teaching God uh, concerning uh, dealing with a root analysis wow. and the root analysis, you know, from the perspective of whatever mindset or whatever our mindset is, those are type of roots. And uh, you know, I was in a class, I'm a paraprofessional in a Clayton County public school system up here in uh, Atlanta. And uh, the uh, science teacher, he was teaching on the three aspects of uh, a plant. And he's, mm. You have the root, you have the stem, and you have the leaves. And when he began to uh, describe the functionality of the uh, root, man, something just jumped in my spirit. I said, man, that, that, that's something you need to preach. <laughs> and so, man, when you think about a root, man, the function of a root is to uh, serve as an anchor of the plant to the soil. Jesus. So where the... the the anchor, I mean, the uh, root keeps the plant rooted in the soil. <laughs> and also the root, it absorbs uh, water and nutrients from the soil. And then mm. transfers, transfers or conducts the water and the nutrients from the soil to the stem of the plant. Wow. And then the stem takes the absorbed water and nutrients to the leaves and the leaves through photosynthesis creates food and then sends the food back down through the stem down to the root and the root stores the food. <laughs> and so I was saying, you know, back to what you were saying about faith in God, if your faith is not rooted in God. Come on then you're not going to get what God has for you. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. Your faith is that root. And so if your uh, faith in God is being nurtured, being nourished and receive the water of the word, you know, and, and the exposed to the sunlight, you know, the S-O-N light, you know. And so when your faith is continue, I mean, your, your root is that faith in God and it's continually Water and nutrients are being supplied. It stays strong. Yes, yes. It's like, oh my God! So, if you got the wrong root system, 
<laughs> we don't have the wrong fruit system. Come on now. Come on. Come on. Come on. Because we gotta because we gotta understand when we're walking by faith, you don't walk by what you see in the natural. You walk according to what you see in the spirit realm, not the natural. If God tells you it's there, you don't have to look at what's over there. All you need to know is is there. It, if God tells you to go and get a building, you don't count your pennies. Yeah. You just hear what he's saying and move the way that he says. Because one uh -huh. thing is, people think that everything God says must make sense. A lot of stuff he says, it does not make sense. No. To the human mind, but to no. your spirit, it makes plenty of sense. Oh. <laughs> plenty of sense. But all we have to do is move on it by faith. And that's the one thing we got to have a word from God that we move on. Yeah. By, because if we try to do it and it's not through a word from God, we're just doing things to satisfy ourselves. And now what we're trying to do is not going to work because I'm trying to satisfy who I am, but not who God is in me. Yes. <laughs> yes. <sir. laughs> Man, yeah, God reminded me of something last night when I was teaching. He said, when God gives you a word, that's a living word coming from the living God. Come on now. And the devil can't kill a living word. <laughs> Come he on. The one who's alive spoke it. So My that living God. word stays in existence until it comes to manifestation. So all you have to do is believe what God said. And there's nothing the devil can do about it. The only thing he can do is try to steal your faith. Wow. And that's Come one on. of the things I have in my notes tonight. You know, <laughs> if the enemy understands if he can steal your faith, if he can steal my faith, then he can steal our future. Come on. Because Come on. everything that God promised us is hidden in our faith in him. <laughs> yes. Come on. It's finished, but it's hidden. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. In my God. Because if we, if, if, if we work faith right, the right way, faith will do whatever you tell it to go do. Faith will, <laughs> faith will move mountains. Yes. Faith will open doors. See, a lot of people think that when they're going through a financial storm, they yeah. think that they have a finance problem. The problem isn't your finance. The problem <laughs> is your faith. Yes, sir. <laughs> because if my faith is right, I get the finances together. Because yes, whatever you think of in your mind is how you're going to be on the outside. On the outside, look should look just like who you are on the inside, but it's yeah. developed on the inside first. So yeah. if I if I develop what I want to see on the inside. Everybody will see it on the outside, but it has to be developed first. People are trying yeah. to grab things that has never been developed on the inside. And yeah. that's why you can't get into it because it's never been developed. Yeah. <laughs> God. yeah, yeah. By God, by God. People, that, that, that ties in with what you just said. See, many saints uh, make believing that they are believing. Come on. That makes sense. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> so in other words, we have a lot of unbelieving believers. <laughs> Come on. We got the title believer, but are we really believing? Because mm. belief has a face. Come on. In Come other on. words, belief has a character. <laughs> Come on, man. Come you, on. Say, you know, yeah, I'm trusting God. Fossil, and I'm back my finger nails. You understand what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. You understand? Know You're sweating bullets. You understand? Know but yet you got faith. <laughs> Bite my finger nails. Come on. Man. God is able. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Wow. And that's my faith. That's my that's faith. Not faith. That's real racing. <laughs> that's not faith. I tell people all the time if your faith, have no proof. It's a fake. Your faith <laughs> has to have some proof. Show me your proof in your faith. 
Yes, sir. <laughs> Jesus was trying to show it to the Jesus was trying to let them know your faith needs some proof to what you believe in, what yes, you sir. said that you have. <laughs> And when we when we can really when we can really stand, some people may be saying, "But Apostle, how am I going to show proof that I have faith?" You won't worry about your problem. <laughs> your your yeah. problem will turn into an opportunity. You yeah. won't you won't worry about how you're going to survive tomorrow because all your your trust and your faith is going to be in God. You're not yeah. going to sit there and stay up all night long worried about how you're going to get the bills paid. You trust God that your bill is already paid. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. This, is, this is showing some proof that I'm in, I'm in the faith realm, not the natural realm. Come on, man. Well, the Lord told me something some uh, some years ago. See, what, what has happened, we, the enemy has made us think that if we don't sweat bullets, we don't care what happens. Mm. So our worry in our uh, being concerned, quote unquote, is a manifestation that we care. So, so if wow. all hell is breaking loose and we're calm and trusting God, is like people don't think you care about. Don't you care? You know, just like uh, Jesus when he was on the uh, boat sleep, he had come already said, "Come, let us go to the other side." End of story. My father told me we're going to the other side. So I'm going to take a nap and chill out. Like you said the other day, you know, hey, uh, we got an assignment waiting on us on the other side. So I'm going to chill out and take a nap. <laughs> but the disciples, they were on the boat. Don't you care? Because <laughs> Jesus was resting and chilling out because he knew the end wasn't yet. <laughs> My God. Like, don't you care? We about to perish. What, 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 what in the world are you talking about? Didn't I say let's go to the other side? <laughs> <laughs> Bingo, That's what my mind on not perishing, getting to the other side. So my I mean, God, leave me alone. Yes. My God, <laughs> resting in the storm, man. Yeah. Resting in the storm. I've been preaching and teaching all day. I'm tired. Let me get a little nap in. <laughs> mm. My God, my God. That's this is what this is what. It's all about because e even if we went and I know you got some stuff there, but even if we went to if we looked at Hebrews 11 and some people may be saying, well, what is faith? How do I know that I have the faith? Let me help you with that. Hebrews 11 and Amen. verse one begins to give us a dialogue mm -hmm. of the faith that we're talking about. See, he says in verse one, he says, now faith is. First of all, you got to know that your faith is right now, not tomorrow, not, tomorrow. not next year, <laughs> not next month. You know, when, when David was going against Goliath, he said this day, today, I'm going to yeah. take your head off of you and destroy your host. He didn't say tomorrow. So yeah. when he when he put a demand on his faith with his word, the mm -hmm. Holy Spirit had to get involved with what he said. Yes, sir. <laughs> my, my, my. Praise God. He said, this day shall you be destroyed. But <laughs> now faith is. The son have faith in who you are then you have faith in his word yes <laughs> then we have faith in his word see the enemy is trying to freeze up our camera but i'm yes. man we're gonna teach this thing why because <laughs> when, when god's word starts going out all that God is saying, <laughs> y'all gonna get this word tonight. Y'all gonna get this word about faith because we're in a we're in a season and a time right now that the only way through what we are in in this season yeah. is faith. 
That's the only thing that's going to get you through it. It isn't your money. It isn't your house. It isn't your car. It's faith. Faith. Yes, faith sir. is going to move you from level to level. Faith is going to do it. So faith becomes, what, what, watch this. And then I want you, and, and man, I know you got some stuff, boy. And <laughs> this is what he says in the Amplified. This is what faith is, people of God. In yeah. Hebrews 11 and 1 in the Amplified, he says, now faith is. Faith has results. Mm. He said, now faith is. It's the result of what you believe and what you say. Now mm -hmm. faith is the assurance. Is what you believe is what you are confident in. It's the yes. assurance, the confirmation, the title deed. Your mm -hmm. faith gives you the title to the promises that God said is yours. Woo, my your God. faith gives you the title to the promises. What did he say? He promised you long life in Psalms 91 16. What did yes. he say? He promised you the head and not the tail. Come on yeah. now. He promised you that you shall be above and not beneath. He promised yeah. you that you shall always have. He promised you in Psalms, he said that he will increase you and your children more and more. Yeah. These are the promises yeah. that he gave you. And he said, if you walk by faith, you can access the promises. Oh, my God. <laughs> You get into something about it. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on. You know, one of my uh, favorite scriptures uh, when we talk about uh, faith in, uh, I think it's 2 Corinthians chapter uh, 1. Mm. Yes, 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 20. My God. Come it on. It says, for all the promises of God in him, in Christ, are yes. Come on. And in him, amen. Yes. Unto the glory of God by us. Man, don't you know what that did for me? <laughs> Not only do we have the promises, they are yes. Come on, man. Then he has an amen to it. You know what? It took me years <laughs> to actually learn what amen meant. You know, I grew up in church. I was going to church before I was born. <laughs> you know, you know, they used to say, so let the church say amen. I never knew what amen meant. Come on. Until I was grown. Amen means so be it. Come on now. So be what? <laughs> so be exactly what he promised you. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> so I'm like, when I say let the church say amen now, I know what I'm saying. I'm saying so be it to what my father said. Yes. Yes. My God. <laughs> yes. Be it unto you. <laughs> Come on, man. Now, Paul, this is the thing that really gets me, you know, as you uh, described it from the uh, Amplified, when you talk about a confirmation mm -hmm. and a title deed. Come on. And I often use this simple analogy. I'm like, if you paid your call off and you received the title in the mail with your yes. name on it, yes, specifying what you yes. now own. <laughs> Come on now. Come on. <laughs> Why would you worry about paying that off when you got the title? Jesus. Come on. I mean, we understand that in the natural, but why would you worry about something coming to pass? That you have the title deed to. <laughs> uh, you go to the court of law, you know, somebody tell, no, that's my, somebody steal what you got. And then, and then, then, you know, say, no, see your honor. See, this, this, this is, uh, this is mine. Who has the title? I do. I do. Give me my stuff. You know what I'm saying? In the store. Case is this. <laughs> Come on. Come on. How you fight with that. <laughs> How you fight with the title D? Jesus. Wow. <laughs> wow. Making it simple, man. man. Making it simple. <laughs> title D. It's just that simple. You don't worry about a title D. <laughs> mm. My God. Come on now. <laughs> now if you've written, that's right. another thing. But if you got the title to it, <laughs> there is no argument. <laughs> 
<laughs> Come on now. <laughs> they can try to argue, but try. it ain't going nowhere. <laughs> it ain't going nowhere <laughs> because oh. you own it. <laughs> you, own it. You, you, you know, that's that's like that's like when God spoke to the man of God and he told him, he said, walk around in the land. He said, sojourn around in the yeah. land. I mean, walk around in it. That yeah. word sojourn means to walk around like you own it. He Ooh. told him, walk in that land like you own it because you do. Ooh. Walk around like, like you own it. Walk around like you want it. Sojourn means you walk around like you own it because you already do. It's already Ooh. yours. My God. <laughs> it's already yours. <laughs> Title D, man. Come on, man. I like this. Somebody's faith is being built, Apostle. Ooh. Jesus. <laughs> Why God. worry when you hold the title? I hold the the title, the title D for healing. You hold the title D for peace. Come on now. You hold the title D for increase. You hold the you hold the title deed for prosperity. You hold the title deed, and you can wave it in the devil's face. Yeah, there's nothing he can do because that title has already been sealed with the yeah. blood of Jesus. That nothing can stop the title <laughs> that you hold. Come yeah. on. <laughs> Nothing. Wow. You, you rest when you got titles. That that's what you're saying. You you can rest when you got a title to something. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. And some some people may be saying, well, y'all saying that we that we have titles. What well, what do we have a title to? But the first thing that you need to understand that you have a title to, you got a title to this earth. Yes. God sir. gave you the title deed. Yes, for the earth. and he said, "You run the earth. You not run the sinner, yes, sir. not the world." But he said, "You, the righteous, God, oh, God. Psalms, Psalms, <laughs> boy, <laughs> and I'm gonna turn you loose, man. Psalms, one fifteen, yeah, and one sixteen. See, if you're having a hard time believing that you hold the title deed to this earth, let me help you right quick. Because when God first made the earth, he made the earth wealthy. Yeah. Satan cannot control the earth because he don't own it. He's yes, only ruling and running stuff in the world, not the earth. He don't own the earth. You do. Oh, my God. Come on now. The children of God, we own the earth, but Ooh. the mind has to start thinking that way. So yeah. if you own something, when you speak, it has to do what you say. Yes. <laughs> you can't be an owner and tell somebody to do something and they talk back and they don't do it. You have the right to fire them. Yes. <laughs> so listen, you have the right to fire your wrong thinking. You have the right to fire depression. You yes. have the right to fire lack. <laughs> yes, sir. On, I got to make it simple for you. Yes, you sir. have a right to fire these things because it yes, does sir. not have a place in your life. Yes. God gave you the keys to run it. He said in Psalms 115, verse 16, the heaven, even the heavens are the Lord, but yeah. the earth Hath he given? Hath he given? That's past tense. Hath he given to yes, the sir. children of men? That means he put you as an owner to control the earth. Yes, don't, let, don't let Bishop Toot Toot tell you you <laughs> can't do it. He's only yes, telling sir. you that because he don't know. He don't yes. realize. <laughs> He's an owner of the earth. Yes, Come on. Come on. Glory to God. Man, I tell you. Come on, preacher. You know, when he was speaking, one of the things that, that those spirit brought back to my remembrance was I think many saints take for granted who's speaking. My God. Now, the word says God is not a man that Come he on. should not. 
Jesus. Son of man, that who he should repent. Have he said it? <laughs> and shall he not do it? Have he spoken? And shall my he God. not make it good? So, so my biggest thing is not what is said, but who said it. Come on. <laughs> now, if I trace it back to the God who cannot lie, I'm cool. Wow. But I don't care how juicy and how fascinating it sounds if I trace it back to the liar. It ain't true. It ain't true because he can't tell the truth. <laughs> my, my rest comes when I trace it back to my daddy who cannot lie. The Apostle Paul said, I think it was in uh, was it uh, Romans chapter three, uh, verse four. He said, you know, let God be true. Come and on, every man, a liar. Come on. So man is a liar at the point that he disagrees with God. Oh my God! <laughs> Come on, my now. God! <laughs> my God! <laughs> oh, you Come ain't on. saying what God is saying. You lying. Come on, man. <laughs> That's good right there. That's good right there. So our good. father cannot lie. Just like the devil cannot tell the truth, our daddy cannot lie. Mm. My God. So if That's somebody good. who cannot lie promises you something and puts an amen next to it, what you worried about? <laughs> <laughs> and that gives you a title D. Come on now. Come on now. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> ah, Jesus. Woo, glory to God, man. Come on, man. Got to see the big picture. <laughs> Got to see the big picture. Now, see, that's, that's the reason why Eve was, I would say, duped or yeah. deceived right. because she paid more attention to the lie than understanding the truth that was already in her. Right. So when she grabbed the lie, she tried to become what lie said. And truth is like, I'm not going to be there if you go invite lie to counteract with who I am. Yes. <laughs> Come on, man. Because the two can't dwell in the same place. That's right. <laughs> See, how do I know? How do we know that he believed the lie? My God. Because she acted on it. My God. Oh, somebody need to get that one. <laughs> wow, that's good there. The that's reason good. we know Eve believed it because where it says when she saw that the tree was good for fruit. So she listened to the liar and she eventually started believing the liar. When she My acted. God. My God. Now the truth has spoken, but she believed the liar. My God. <laughs> oh my God. Somebody need to run with that one now. <laughs> my God. Now you, you can have access to the truth, but choose to believe the liar. Wow. <laughs> my God. <laughs> my God. Before they let before she let the serpent into her dwelling, they didn't know what a lie was. Come on. Because they were only in fellowship with the truth. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Well, the truth never told a lie until the serpent came on the scene. <laughs> My God. That's the first time they were introduced to a lie. My God. Oh my God. My first God. Time. <laughs> <laughs> no, the truth never told a lie to him. Everything he ever said was the truth. <laughs> My God. <laughs> Jesus, but then, these are the things we gotta get, man. These are the things we gotta get, man. Because our our life has already been modeled to be what God has already designed us to be. Yes, He chose us yes. to be who He wants us to be on the earth. Mm -hmm. He said it in His Word. And John, He said, "I chose you." Yes. I told you, he says, and I ordained you. Yes, so sir. He chose you and ordained you. That means we have everything we need. 
<laughs> in God. Everything. Exactly what he called us to do. Ooh, that that means you don't have to you don't have to wait for a stimulus check. You yes. can always stimulate your mind to think like God to produce what he has for you. Yes. <laughs> Above the stimulus Above. check. Above. <laughs> Above it. So if we renew the mind to think that way. Yes. If we renew this mind to think like that, that all things are possible to him yes. That believe, don't you dare look at nothing and think it's impossible. You can move any mountain. You can speak to it and it has to move. You can yeah. open any door. You can unlock that door. You can open the gates. Paul and yeah. Silas used their, their worship and their praise of faith and open doors, not only for themselves, but yeah. for everybody else. Everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they one of the things that, that, I believe many uh, sincere believers miss is the fact of the example that our Lord and Savior set. Yes. You know, we supposed to be imitators of God as dear children, right? Come on. Ephesians Come on. Said, right? Now, how do we know that the Lord Jesus Christ was a man of faith? Jesus. Now we we're supposed to be following in his footsteps, right? Following after his example. What did the father say about his son? Mm. This is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. Yes. Hear ye him. <laughs> now what does the uh Hebrews eleven six says? But without faith, it's impossible to please him. My God. Come on. So the the Lord Jesus Christ had God smiling all the time. <laughs> oh my gosh. Man. Well, he believed on. everything his dad had said while he was on earth. Mm. Give me some more Bible. Wow. It says in John, he only did those things that he saw his father doing. Yes. And he only said those things that he heard his father say. Come on. So Jesus' life was simple. He was a man of faith. I'm not doing anything unless daddy says it. I mean, does it. And I'm not saying anything outside of what daddy says. Hmm. My God. So who wouldn't want that kind of son? <laughs> Come on now. Come on. Well, I'll never give you no back talk. Come on. <laughs> Come on. So I do this with me. Yes, sir. So I go over there to Galilee. Yes, sir. Go hear that entire multitude. multitude. Yes, sir. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. My he God. On the cross, he was still having faith. He, he said, God, I don't understand. My God, my God, why has thou forsaken me? I, so he was all in faith up on the cross. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Anyway. <laughs> wow. Come on. <laughs> wow. It, it, you know, it is it is amazing because when we know that we have two things in us that opens, supplies, moves us forward, and those two things that God has put in us is a king and a priest. Yes, sir. <laughs> a king, king and a priest. And a, a priest. king never goes and looks to find out if he saw the decree and if that decree is working. He never do. He set a decree and he knows it's being carried out. Mm -mm. A yes, priest. Sir never worries about where they're going because he always get a vision from God. Yes, yes. He, get the, he, he gets the vision from God. See, the, the, the book says in Revelations chapter 1 and verse 6, he says, and God, and, and he hath made us kings and priests unto God and his father. He, he, he hath 
That's past tense. Yes, he sir. Made, made of us kings and priests. That's what's on the inside of us. Yes, sir. We're, we're kings because we're kings of the king. <laughs> the king carries provision. Yes, sir. The priest carries the vision. So God is saying, I've already put provision and vision in you. Yeah. You got to believe both of them. <laughs> <laughs> By faith. Woo, come By on. God. See, <laughs> that goes back, you know, to what I said earlier. Some believers actually contemplate if God can lie. Jesus. <laughs> Come on, apostle. <laughs> contemplate. Huh? Still believers settle the question that Jesus. God cannot lie. They're going to question some of the things he tells them. Mm. If I know my daddy cannot lie. He doesn't have the capacity to lie. There's no guile in his mouth. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> when he says it, that's why, you know, uh, my former uh, pastor, he used to jokingly say, uh, if you were in a lighted room and God said it was dark, believe God. <laughs> Come on. No lights going off immediately because God said it's dark. Come on. <laughs> you better say it. So, Whatever you well, say. Come if, on. If believers, if we can resolve that our father cannot lie. Yes. When he says something, we'll act on it from a different perspective. Wow. That's good. That's good. You're like Mary now, you know, when the angel came to her and Told her everything that would transpire. I don't understand it, but be it unto me, <laughs> just as you say it. Now, if Mary could take the word of an angel, why can't a believer take the word of God? Jesus. Oh, mm. man. my God. That's good, Dale. That's good. <laughs> That's good. And the only reason why she received it's because she believed, just like you said, in what the angel said. And when she <laughs> believed it, she said, well, be it unto me. Be it unto me. As your word says. <laughs> because she received it. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> oh, and then, and then yes, it sir. comes right back when he was dealing with Elizabeth. Yes. And he says, if you believe, mm. there shall be a performance. Yes, sir. When you believe. <laughs> what does performance mean? Performance mm. simply means a demonstration of the mm. anointing. Mm. So he's saying, if you can believe what I say, I'll Ooh. demonstrate what I said. <laughs> Come on, man. Demonstration of the anointing. My God. <laughs> Demonstration of the anointing. So he said, if you believe it, I'll demonstrate what I said to you. My God. <laughs> Come on, man. I'll demonstrate it. I'll show it. You'll see it. <laughs> and they both produced mm, mm, mm. two children. That we always know of in the book. Mm -hmm. They will never be forgotten. Mm. Jesus and John the Baptist will yes, never sir. be forgotten. Never. Why? Because they both received a word that already produced the seed to come yeah. into the world and produce a change. Yes. <laughs> so that means on the inside of us, we've been already equipped with change. That mm -hmm. God is saying, if you just believe the word of change by faith, yes, everything sir. in you. See, 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 we need to leave. My God, faith should be something that we leave for our children as an inheritance. 
Mm. Our children <laughs> should receive faith as an inheritance from us. Yes, sir. <laughs> they should inherit it. Why? Because they're going to inherit it because you passing it down. Yes, sir. That's how we view God. <laughs> God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Come on. My God. Jesus. Good, Apostle. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> wow. My God. <laughs> this is such a season, Pastor, that we live yeah. in right now. And I tell people all the time, if you don't have faith, you need to find some. Yes, sir. You need, you need to find the faith that God has given you. Because if we say that we are born again Christians, mm -hmm. you cannot receive Christ without faith. Yes, sir. Because he say if you believe in your heart, you can't receive it without faith. Can. <laughs> you gotta believe. <laughs> Come on, man. That goes wow. back to what we said about uh, Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. Come on. It's possible to please him, for he that comes unto God must believe Jesus. that he is, that he exists, Come and on. that he's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Jesus. So our seeking is not in vain. My God. Because you're seeking the one who cannot lie. You're Can't seeking lie. the one that has promises wrapped up in his son. Mm. So when you receive his son, you receive the promises. I, You know, I often say this, you know, see the, the Old Testament promised land is the New Testament promised man. Jesus. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. So. If you get in Christ, you in the promised land. <laughs> come on. Come on. <laughs> come on. You in the one who's flowing with the milk and the honey. <laughs> <laughs> I like that, man. Come on. You are the one. <laughs> promised wow. land is the promised man. Wow. When you get in the man, you got the promises. Jesus. That's all. Awesome. And you got an amen plus the promises. <laughs> Don't need that amen out now. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> because when we when we just like you saying, when we can when we just trust him, that's all that's all he wants us to do is yeah. trust him and obey him. And and and, and some people may say, What, but how do I begin to trust him? James. Chapter one. Let, 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 let's 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 see what James said. See, mm -hmm. uh, it, it, it is it. The word is simple all by itself. The, yeah. the, we don't have to add nor take away from the word. But once we understand what he's saying, so he says in James one. Wow. Mm -hmm. In verse twenty two, how do you begin to execute this? He says in verse 22, but be ye doers mm. of the word. Yes, doers. Sir. Doers mean performers. So when I read that verse that triggers my spirit, I'm yeah. going to start doing what it says. Yes, I'm going to start performing what the word says. Why? Because I'm executing, I'm exercising my faith. Yes, sir. Yeah. That's how we do it. We exercise our faith. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. If you don't know how to do it, man, read Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Read it every day for the next five days. I guarantee you, if you exercise those two verses, your yes. life will never be the same. Mm, mm, mm. Never My be the God. same. <laughs> My God. My God. I was teaching on that last night, Apostle, about uh, Psalm 1. You know, it's a blessed is a man who walketh not in the council of the uh, ungodly, nor stand in the way of sinners, nor sit in the seat of the scornful. But his delight. Come on. Come on. In the law of the Lord. What's the law <laughs> of the Lord? His precepts, his direction, his instruction, and his teachings. Come on now. 
So when you start taking pleasure in what he says, Jesus, what he teaches, <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> wow. Then it says he'll be like a tree. Come on. Now, 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 now the key thing I, I shared this last night that I thought was so profound. See, when you talk about meditating on the word day and night. Mm -hmm. Come on. Now, think about this analogy I, I gave the people of God last night. I said, imagine I, I, I literally went to uh, is a plantation called the uh, Magnolia Plantation in uh, wow. Charleston, South Carolina. And in the middle of the plantation is an oak tree mm. that's been living since the 1700s. Wow. Now, I visited like in 2006. And so at that time, the tree had been in existence since the 1700s. Man. Now, can you imagine an almost 300-year oak tree you walking up to the bark and put your arms around it and try to uproot it. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come you on. Think that tree is going anywhere. Jesus. Because those roots are so strong. They've been there almost 300 years. My God. So my point is, when we delight in the word, think about how how long we thought like the world mm. before we that's got good. saved. That's good. I say if you got saved when you were 30, now you've been thinking like a fool since you were born. <laughs> <laughs> you know how to use that terminology. You've been thinking exactly <laughs> like the world from day one, from you the time you learned how to talk, you've been thinking like the world. My God. And then you finally bump into Jesus, receive him, receive him, and then you just forget those 30-something years that you've been thinking like the world and read the scripture one time and think you ought to have it down pat. My God. Come on now. That's why he said you have to meditate day and night. And meditate means to, to rehearse, to speak. To mutter, to muse, and muse means to rehearse repeatedly over and over in your mind. Wow. So if you've had 30, 40 years of thinking erroneously, you got to think oh of such other things are true, lovely, honest, just pure all day, all night. <laughs> Come on. Come to on. Root those years <laughs> that you've been thinking erroneously. <laughs> wow. So day at night meditation just jumped out at me. Man, you can't just read, okay, God is able. Just read that one time. <laughs> I ain't going to do nothing when you've been thinking that he wasn't able for 38 years. <laughs> Come on. Come on, man. Come on, man. I've been ordered to throw that out there for somebody. <laughs> wow. Wow. You, you, you know, what you're saying is true because Jesus used that analogy. He, he, yes, and he used that to let them know just what you're saying. He he, he said in, 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 in Matthew 15 mm -hmm. and verse 13, he said, and he answered and said, every plant <laughs> which my heavenly father hath not planted mm. shall be rooted up <laughs> so Glory to God. of your thoughts and imaginations that you built up over the years yeah you were thinking like that but when you found Jesus <laughs> he was he said he's uprooting yeah. all those trees all mm. them thoughts and imaginations all them evil visions He's yeah. rooting it out. And just like you say, if you've been that way for years, if you've been that way for 50 years, you got a whole lot of 50 years of mess going on. It's going to take him a while to get 50 years of mess out of your life. Yes. <laughs> it didn't take me overnight to get messy. Yes, sir. <laughs> it took some time. Come on, man.
If that's what God is doing, boy, you want it, man. <laughs> you want it, man. Wow. People think yeah, it's, it's instantaneous. Not to say God can't do it. Yes, instantaneously we become a new creature. Yes. But Romans 12, 2 says not to be conformed Come on. to this world's standards, this world's precepts, rules, and, and laws, but be transformed. To go from a butterfly to, I mean, a caterpillar to a butterfly, complete opposite Jesus. form Jesus. by the renewing of your mind. Mm. Mm. Wow. So, so, so a lot of people are not convinced, even though God cannot lie, a lot of believers are still in the process of renewing their mind. My so the first thing I need to do is to understand God cannot lie. See, before we got saved, we thought God couldn't tell the truth and that the <laughs> devil was the truth teller. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> you know what I'm we, we, we grew up thinking about, you know, we grew up being scared of the devil and, and to give God less respect. My God. You know, you, you think about that, Apostle. Uh, you know, we <clears throat> I grew up uh, in Jacksonville, Florida, and, and uh, we had a clothesline in the backyard. And so, you know, after dark, you know, I was like scared. You know, mom said, go out there and get those clothes off the line. Man, are you serious, mama? <laughs> and no, that man not might be out there. You understand? <laughs> man, you watched all these movies of Count Dracula and all this. You scared to go outside. Come on. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Teenage, we were watching Carrie and, 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 and Nightmare on Elm Street and all these different You understand? So, so we Come on, we're like, <laughs> We were grow up respecting the devil because of the, dem <laughs> the demonic reality. So now when you come into Christ, you like, I want to believe. We, we're just like that man with the uh, demon-possessed boy. <laughs> Lord, I believe. Help God, my <laughs> come on, man. I believe, but I've been watching this demon mess my son's life up all these years. I, I need some help with my unbelief. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> you right about that, boy. I need some help with my unbelief. I need some help. <laughs> Jesus. Come on, man. Wow. My God. Wow. Because everything, everything God has for us, He will always keep you with a vision of what He put in you. Yes, sir. And he'll always keep, and he, that that is a image that he's given us. Yeah, and he wants to keep the image fresh in our sight because mm -hmm. I say all the time, you can't walk where you cannot see. <laughs> yes, sir. That's good. God will always keep you with the vision if we tap into. What he's showing us as he did with Joshua, he brought Joshua to the door of the promised land. And he said, see, I've given you all the land, I've given not you. only the land, but I've given you the king in there. I've given you the stuff in there. I've given yeah. you the people in there. But the first thing he told Joshua, he said, see. Yes. <laughs> Joshua six. In verse two, he said, see that I've given you. I've already put it in your hands. You hmm. got to believe it's already in your hands. See. You got to believe it's there. Ooh. You got to receive it. When you receive it, it becomes a reality. My God, that's powerful, Apostle. <laughs> <See. laughs> mm. That's good. That's good. My God. Wow. My God. Mm. So once again, you know, as we've been saying, it's so important for us as believers not to uh, trivialize our faith. Mm. That's good. If we trivialize our faith in God, and I'm specific when I say faith in God, not just faith, but faith in God. Even Jesus said, will the son of man find faith on the earth when he returns? My God. So 
we have to really put under the microscope and see how important it is to God for us to believe him. Yes. And, and this is something I had, you know, in my notes uh, is the fact that the devil really doesn't care about our stuff. Come on. What he wants, in addition to our worship, is our faith in God. My God. Because he knows that if he can get our faith in God, mm. he can <laughs> take our future. Oh, somebody missed that. Jesus. Come on now. I'm trying. If I'm a devil, then I can't wow. stop God. Wow. What's my best bet? To try mm. to steal their faith in God. Because I can't stop God from doing what he promised. But I can try to stop them from believing what he said he would do. Wow. <laughs> my only hope is to mess with their faith. Wow. Think about this. And I think it was what Luke chapter 22. Wow. When uh, the Lord Jesus Christ said, uh, Simon, Simon, Satan have desired. Wow. To have you. <laughs> That he may sift you <laughs> as wheat. My God. Don't worry about it. I prayed for you. <laughs> Come on, your man. Faith fail not. Ooh, my Jesus. God. I didn't need to get that. <laughs> Come on. That's your faith fail not. My and, and one of the contexts of that says Satan has asked for permission. Come on. <laughs> Come on. To sift you as wheat. <laughs> Come on, because <laughs> he just can't do it. Oh, he was in control, Apostle. Come on, man. Jesus. He had the <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Come on, man. Wow. But that's no different than Job. When mm. he came before the presence of God, he said, uh, What's going on, Satan? Just going to and fro, you know, uh, seeking whom I made a vow, you know, what's. Or something like that. He said, have you considered my servant, Joe? Jesus. He said, God, you know, I mean, you know I can't do nothing. You have a hedge around him. <laughs> you mess with him. I can't bother him. My God. So the devil can't do anything without permission. Come on. Come on. <laughs> wow. So in other words, you're saying this. God don't give him permission, so he's coming to us with our mindsets to change. <laughs> Come on, man. And when we don't think like God, we give him permission to do what he want to do. God. It is. That's it. There you better is. help me up in here, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> Jesus. Ooh. Ooh, <laughs> my God. You know, I told my good. wife this. Uh, it was so profound. And, you know, we get into some deep conversations. And, and I said, the enemy is operating on an expired. How did I say it? The enemy is operating with an expired dominion. Wow. The only reason he got dominion is because he tricked Adam, the first Adam, out of it. <clears throat> wow. Now, the ownership never transferred because the word says in Psalm 24 that the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. So God <laughs> never transferred it. He just mm. tricked the first man out of it. <laughs> Come on. And was operating in it until the last Adam came, which is the Lord Jesus Christ, and got it back. Wow. Come so on. Now he says, all authority is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Now I'm giving you back the authority that you let the enemy trick you out of. Come on, die. We let him trick you again now. <laughs> See, and, and I'm going to make sure he doesn't trick you again because he says, lo, I'm with you always. <laughs> <laughs> so it'll be impossible now. <laughs> it'll be impossible now because I'm with you. I, I... Wow. 
Wow. That, that blood was too expensive. I can't let him trick you again. <laughs> Come on, guy. <now. laughs> That'll <laughs> preach all by itself right there, boy. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. Ooh, so, word is so in other words, that's why when the disciples went out and they came back, the book said when the 70 came back in Luke chapter 10, they, they said even the devils subject. are subject. Come on now. <laughs> Unto us. Yes. So who your name? <laughs> no, <I'm not. laughs> and Jesus had to tell them. Yes, sir. Nothing by any means is going to harm you. Just no. like what you just said. <laughs> Come no, on, man. Lord. Wow. No, really, God. Apostle, that's. <laughs> My God. Well, we can only grasp that God is in control and he's given us dominion. Come on now. Come on. Come on now. Wow. So that's why Jesus said, whatsoever you bind on earth, yes, sir. I'll bind in heaven. <laughs> or whatsoever you loose on earth. Yes. Loose it in heaven. <laughs> so in other words, he's saying whatever you allow on the earth, I will allow it in the heavens. Yes. Because <laughs> he gave us control. Man. Oh, man. oh my God. We can do that. You know, Ooh. you know, one of the things that uh many of the saints we have to really get a revelation on we we got the uh we got the letter but we need to get the spirit now oh my and god things is that uh the disciples asked jesus say lord teach us to pray come on okay when you pray say our father who art in heaven holy is your name your kingdom come yes your yes. will be done on earth as it exists in heaven now <clears throat> Last few years, I just recently came into the revelation that Jesus actually, his gospel was the gospel of the kingdom of God. Come on, come on now. He went <laughs> preaching about himself. Come on. He came with the good news concerning the kingdom of God. Yes. And yeah. the thing about it that, that's been so hard for believers to make the transition to a kingdom mindset. Is because when Jesus said, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth, we think the devil owns the earth. Come on now. Come on. So we confuse. It's like, no, 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 but the devil, he's killing and stealing and destroying, so he must be in charge. Mm. You know, so when we understand My God. that. The other thing that I want to share, Apostle, is that we don't understand God's original plan for humanity. Wow. On Earth. Wow. So God <laughs> wanted to colonize Earth and make it like heaven. Yes. Come on. You know, and those who are from the islands, you know, my wife, she's from the Bahamas, so she understands the, the principle and the concept of a colony. Yes. The, the island of... Uh, the Bahamas, they, they were an extension of Great Britain. Come on. See, so, so, so great. Uh, the Bahamas was a colony of Great Britain. That's why they drink tea. That's why they drive on the left side of the road instead of the right side of the road. Mm. Everything they do in Great Britain or in, <clears throat> in England, they do in the Bahamas. Wow. Come on. So, so typically what happened when uh, someone would conquer a particular country, then they would send a governor into that particular country. And the mm -hmm. governor of that country would colonize that country and make it like the country that they came from. Wow. So the governor would actually stay in the locale and then bring the culture from where they came from to that particular territory. Come on. So now Come watch on. this. The Holy Spirit is a type of governor. Yes. 
So he comes into the land of us as new creatures. Come on. And so now he's filling us with the culture of heaven because he's the governor. <laughs> now he's living on the inside of us. <laughs> Come on, die. <laughs> and so wow. he's changing our territory to look like heaven. Yes. <laughs> Come on, man. So that's what our born again experience is about. Mm. Transferring citizenships. My God. See, when you get transferred, when, when in other words, when you become a citizen of another country, you got to be sworn in. <laughs> yes. You got to raise on. your hand and say, do you, abide, do you promise to abide by the rules and the regulations of this country? <laughs> Come on. Come on. So, so when we get born again, you know, when we profess the Lord Jesus Christ, that's our swearing. My God. Will you solemnly swear to be governed by the principles of the kingdom of God and the king? <laughs> Come on. Come on, Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Whatever's not in heaven should not be in our lives on earth. Come on now. Mm. Now that is a big deal to swallow. <laughs> so it takes a mind renewal to understand. <laughs> There's no sickness in heaven. There's no poverty in heaven. There's no mm. lack in heaven. <laughs> My God. There's no talking back to God in heaven. <laughs> There's no sulking your teeth when, when, when the king tells you to do something. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. The one who tried to do that, he got kicked out like lightning. So you don't want to try that. <laughs> <laughs> Go. <laughs> Whatever's going on in heaven should be going on in our lives. Come on now. Wow. But and that's true. So God that will colonize true. earth with his glory. Mm. And it's so amazing that, like you're saying, and 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 it was actually identified that Jesus. Everywhere he went, all he was teaching was the gospel of the kingdom of God, just like you saying. Yes, sir. When he when, when he was first born, he was born. The gospel was being spoken, and he wasn't even saying a word. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, <laughs> the gospel was being spoken, and he wasn't even saying nothing. But when he started on the path, yes. he started teaching the gospel of the kingdom of God. He didn't teach nothing else. So like he said, he ain't teach nothing else. When he was going to the cross, he was still speaking about the gospel of the kingdom of God. He told his mother, don't weep for me. Yes. A weep for those who don't know why he's doing what he's doing. He's still speaking the gospel. Yes, sir. When he get to the cross, hanging on the cross, He's still speaking the gospel while he's on the cross because he said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. He's still speaking the gospel. Yes, sir. He can love. Then the other man on his side, <laughs> he said, remember me. Yes. <laughs> Woo. And Jesus was still speaking the gospel of the kingdom of God. When he rose from the dead, he walked with the disciples for 40 days. Still. The gospel of the kingdom of God. So that gospel got some power, man. He <laughs> couldn't shake it. It was just in him. You know? <laughs> that was in him. He couldn't see nothing else. That, that's who he was. This is wow. the good news. Mm. My God. Jesus. Mm. Teaching us how to live, Woo. how to walk, mm. how to receive, how to bind, how to have everything we need. Yes, sir. Full supply. My God, my God. Man, you know, I thought about this, Apostle Al. If we just follow Jesus' example, even Apostle Paul said, I think it was... Uh, Galatians chapter 2, verse 20, uh, he said, uh, 
I am crucified with Christ. Yes. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I, but Christ that lives in me. And My the God. life I now live in this flesh. Come on. I live by the faith of the Son of God. My God. So if we just use the Son of God's faith, just like he used his faith to trust God and believe God. <laughs> <laughs> Come if on. If we man. use the faith of the Son of God, we can have everything God purposed us to have while we on earth. Mm. My God. Now, watch this, apostles. Let me show you how powerful the, the son and the father's relationship was. You remember before he uh, raised Lazarus from the grave? Mm -mm. What did his prayer say? My God. <laughs> Father, I know that you always hear me. Come on. But for the sake of the people, I'm just <laughs> going to ask you. Come on. Yes, he did. He said, Father, you always hear me. What kind of relationship was that? Jesus. Well, the father always did what the son asked him to do. Come on. My God. Come on. And if we follow his example. <laughs> mm. My God. Just do what he says. I mean, do what he does and say what he says. You have a simple life. Jesus. Anything we ask, give you some more Bible. Come on. But it was uh, John chapter 15. Well, Jesus says, whatever you ask the Father. Come on. In my name. <laughs> it shall be done. My God. Why? Wow. Because the father always does what the son asks him. Come on. Oh, my God. Somebody need Come to get on. that and run with it. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on. Just say it in my name. See, daddy always listens to me, so just make sure you put in my name when you ask him something. <laughs> Come on. Oh, my God. Somebody need to run with that. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Wow. Don't hear about it in the name of Jesus, see, because God honors the name. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> They're giving them a name that's above every name, that at the name of Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Don't forget the name now when you're talking to the Father. My God. Come on now. <laughs> Jesus is his name. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You know, it, it, it is amazing because some people may be thinking, well, that was Jesus. He was able to do that because he was Jesus. <laughs> but can we help you with something? He said in John chapter 14, yes, verse 12, he said, the works that I do shall you do also and greater works than these yeah. shall you do because he's going back home to his father he's going back home. <laughs> and when you think because we have so many people that say well I can't do this I can't do that well you partially right because you can't do it on your own <laughs> by yourself you can't you can't wound a flea <laughs> But he said in John 14, 10, he said, it's my father. Yes. Does the works. Ooh, I just do what he say. He <laughs> exercises it and he works through me. Oh, my God. He do the same thing with us. When we just do what he say, he works through us. He yes, brings things to light. He opens up the doors. He causes things to be according to our word of faith. <laughs> My God. You know, um, as you were speaking uh, about Christ's example, uh, Colossians chapter 3. Yes. Come on. <laughs> now, uh, chapter 3, verse 1 says, if ye then be risen with Christ. Yes. Seek those things which are above where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. 
<laughs> Set your affection on things above, <clears throat> not on things on the earth. Watch this now. When Christ Jesus. is our life, <laughs> shall appear. Jesus. Then we, ye also appear with him in glory. So the thing that jumped out at me, the revelation I got, when Christ, who is our life. Yes. My God. Paul said, I'm crucified with Christ, yet I live. The new me, the new creature lives, yet not I, but Christ lives in me. So like I said on another occasion, which one did the work, the glove or the hand? Ah, come on. I need to get that a bus. <laughs> he just the glove, he's the hand. He's the hand. Come on now. When Christ, who is our life. Oh Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Well, it's not you doing it. It's the one who did it who's doing it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Come let me, on. Let me go back to verse two. Said, and your life is hid with Christ in God. My God. Let me read that again. Everybody didn't get that one, Apostle. <laughs> Come on, man. Chapter three, verse Ooh, three. For ye are dead. Yes. And your life is hid with Christ in God. Jesus. When Christ, who is our life? <laughs> <laughs> ah, come on so now. If you're dead, how are you going to do some work? Jesus. <laughs> come on. <laughs> it's the living Christ who's doing the work in us. <laughs> My God. Every day of the week, man. Woo. If we Every just get out the way, he can do some work. <laughs> that's it. If we just get out the way, you said it right. If we get out the way. <laughs> My God, my God, you know, this, this this is so needed because people need to know that in this season, man, you're going to need your faith. Oh, yes. Sir. If you don't have faith, you need to exercise it and work your faith because yes, you need to use your faith in this season. When we begin to exercise our faith, we begin to have unshakable faith. Yes, sir. Your faith can never be shaken when we're walking in the word of God and we're just doing what God says. Yes. That's it, man. That's, That's it. it. Man. You know, people may be seeing us now, and but they don't realize that we had to do this. Yes, sir. I've been knowing you a long time. We've been knowing each other a long time. Yes, sir. And I've seen some stuff that you had to exercise your faith <laughs> to get through it. <laughs> and watch this. You had to exercise your faith to win. Yes, sir. <laughs> because people think that doing things brings them the victory. You don't fight to get victory. You fight from victory. Yes, sir. God Almighty. <laughs> you, you don't fight from. to get. You fight from. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, glory to God. You know, Apostle, uh, I know we're getting ready to close, but, but one <laughs> thing that a lot of believers overlook the uh, potency of is in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 16. Come on. Apostle Paul says, above all, <laughs> taking the shield of faith. Jesus. Now, why did My he say God. above all? My God. Now, the other pieces of the armor are, are, are very important, but above all. Above all. Come on, man. Taking the shield of faith. Wow. Which is qualified to quench all of the fiery darts of the wicked one. All your problems. All your issues. Come on, Jesus. Oh, was, was that a mistake? All of the fiery darts. <laughs> My God. So 
This is what I had in my notes. Your kingdom future is wrapped up in your faith in God. Come on now. So when the enemy throws fiery darts at us, the substance of what God revealed to us will quench the fiery darts. Ooh, my God. Ooh. That's good right there. That's good. So every time you putting up the shield of faith, you putting up what God promised you. You know, every time you put up your shield of faith, you putting up your title deed. Oh my! Ooh, come on <laughs> now! Come on! Come on, Apostle! No. <laughs> oh, hold on! Let me get my title deed. Um, <laughs> come on, man! Wow. My shield of deed is right. Mm. Come on, man! He get wow. him to get well. Mm. You understand? <laughs> I got the title deed. Well done, Come, Come on. Wow. I got the title deed to a godly marriage. You understand? Know Whatever it is, Ooh, come on. I promised you, you got the title deed. Yes. When the enemy shoots those fiery oh darts, put your title deed up. Come on, man. Wow. Anyway, that, that's you, all said, you said the key thing <laughs> when we exercise the title D, you said the key thing, the shield of faith. Yes, so sir. that means faith Is becomes the- your shield. <laughs> Just like you said, man. Faith <laughs> becomes your shield. Ah, Woo, glory to God. <laughs> <laughs> my God, my God. So I don't need nothing else. I just need more faith <laughs> when I go walk in faith. Wow. I, I so thank God, man, for you being here tonight. Praise God. You know, thank you, man. We, wow. We Y'all certainly love you. Time, man. Man. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, man. We certainly love you, man of God. You know, I know we have your 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 email on screen, but but let the people know um, before we go what God is doing with you there in Georgia. And I know you, you you know, you're launching some work in Georgia and people of God, his email is on the screen, but before we go, you, you, you know, you have to let them know what God is doing with you up there right now in ministry in Jackson, in, uh, in, uh, in Georgia, in Atlanta. Praise God. But praise God. Right now we've uh, started our ministry, uh, kingdom worship center international, and uh, we're meeting now uh, online, you know, with Zoom. And, and God just told us to uh, start our empowerment Bible study. So we've been teaching the word of God and teaching the kingdom of God. Uh, we do that every Wednesday night at our 730 on our uh, Facebook page as well as uh, on our Zoom page. And so uh, God just told us to start teaching the people, start teaching the kingdom. Yeah. And uh, so we we also doing some other things. We I've uh, written a book, uh, written a book myself and my wife. She's uh we did a joint book, a marriage devotional. So wow. it's called uh, What God Is Joined Together, Marriage Devotional. And uh, the title of the book is uh, Established Lives. Wow. And uh, plus, you know, we're we're doing uh, we just completed uh, two singles last year, so we're getting ready to. Uh, distribute those uh probably by april <laughs> so, uh, you know that's what we're doing man god just told us to start teaching the people is you know we've been in the back of the line we've been getting prepared and now it's time to get empty yes because we got a lot of revelation and divine insight that god has downloaded during our down season our wilderness season and now he says come out of the back of the line i'm ready for you to be emptied and bless people <laughs> that I've uh, ordained you to bless. So, you know, we're Kingdom Worship Center International. So on our web page is, uh, of course, uh, HTTPS uh, slash uh, Facebook.com slash KWCI and the number eight. So we'll be there every uh, Wednesday night uh, until God says further. And uh, just educating the people, whoever comes, that's who we're going to educate and bless and love on. And uh, just take it one step at a time as God gives the order steps. Praise Amen. God. 
Hey, man, you know, we, man, you know, we praying for you guys up there because we know the sky is the limit. And, you know, I, man, I love the stuff that you're teaching. You're teaching the kingdom of God, you, you know, and we thank God for you and your beautiful wife, you know, and your, and your kids. Praise God. We thank God for you all. And uh, we and we just pray God's blessings and favor uh, on you all up there as you move forward and the things Amen. that God is doing. In, in Atlanta. Praise God. Amen. Amen. People of God, we so thank God for you joining us on tonight. I know we're running a little bit uh, over time, but praise God. I hope you've been blessed tonight. Talking on unshakable faith. Walk by faith and not by sight, people of God. That's what God wants you to do from this point on. Don't look at the problem, but see your problem as an opportunity to grow your faith, build your faith Amen. to the next level. That's all you need to do. And when you put God first, you put him in the center. And if he's in the center, everything else will work out. And you don't have to worry about your issues. Praise God. We love you, people of God. We're going to be back on on uh, on next week, Thursday night. Have a powerful young man who's going to be on with us. I can't tell you who it is now, but you're going to see the flyers in just a little bit. It's going to surprise you. Powerful young man is going to be on with us on next Thursday night. But we will be on on Saturday. I'll be teaching some stuff on Saturday as well. But you got to tune in next Thursday night. You'll be seeing who it is coming up very soon. Praise God on behalf of me and my lovely wife, Lady Valerie Williams. We thank you and we so give God all the praise for you. And we love you. And always remember, walk by faith, not by sight. Why? Because it's already done. Until Saturday, love you, people of God. Man of God, we'll be talking. Yes, God bless you. Amen.